Hi, Mackie Music here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about beater guitars. Uh, what you see in the background is uh, my Yamaha APX3 and uh, the one in the red shirt playing it would be me. Um, there is a lot of uh, uh, <laughs> a lot of talking on the internet about the beater guitars because you know very often they become uh, an excuse to acquire new gear or to get the extra guitar for your wife. Uh, with the results that uh, they don't really, um, you know, do the job that, in my opinion, they're supposed to do. Uh, what is a beta guitar? In my opinion, it's a guitar that you carry around without worrying too much. You park it uh, behind the sofa, you grab it when you really need to. You don't need a case for it. Well, it's a grab and play instrument that is ready whenever you have the inspiration to play a little bit. I bought this one in Milan for 100 euros very rusty, in very bad conditions, but slowly along with the years, well, uh, she kept giving me the service I needed and she became my beater. Here on this video, the rules that make a guitar a beater in my world. Happy watching! Rule number one, get it used. Uh, the good thing about getting a used instrument is that first of all you have a nice brand to it in my opinion this is a good brand because it's really consistent but most of all you're not gonna feel guilty for anything that might happen in the future to your guitar this one came with a lot of uh, scratches and dents I mean you you can see here uh, there's a sign that she came with and uh, probably this guy was uh, constantly playing this uh, with a belt on well she still plays good get it used. Rule number two. Um, I think you should set a price for it. I mean, I had set $100 for this one. Uh, you know, I was looking for guitars of this type on the internet and what I noticed in, in the past years is that whenever I was looking for a beater, I would look for new guitars and slowly but surely I would raise the price tag by $10 and $10. Till you end up with 250 300 well the guitar you're gonna get for that price is not gonna be a beater stick to the price rule number three versatility well don't underestimate the versatility of your guitar at the beginning it might sound like crap but actually having a piezo in it and this one came with the piezo was a nice surprise for those times i had to plug to a pa there was no problem. So make sure it's versatile enough for the stuff you usually do with the guitar. Yeah, rule number four, uh, in my opinion, is a really good idea to get a beater with as little finish as possible. This specific model um, has almost no finish on the back, very little finish on the side, no finish on the neck. The result is, a chunky neck with no gloss on it um, you can sweat on it you can eat sausages and uh, look for paradise city as you eat rule number five dimensions uh, you might be tempted to go for a jumbo guitar this one is a slim body guitar and um, you know, I realize this is very playable and carryable, and I think it's uh, loud enough in any situation I've been playing it. So don't underestimate how comfy it is to have a guitar with reduced dimension because it's so much easier to carry it. All right, folks, that was all I had to say about the five important things to look for when you're looking for a beater. I hope you found this video useful. I'm going to make a review uh, about this APX3 because I couldn't find any review on the internet and I think it's relevant to have reviews for guitars that um, yeah, are not produced anymore. Um, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to tell me what you think. Don't forget to tell me whether you agree with me. And, uh, if you're in a good mood, subscribe to my channel. Ciao.